Bucart, new pronunciation, because it's now correct. Bucart S200s. The baby brother of the S300s, the big, the oak, the big Bucarts that uh, beat everything, beat everything. So when I got those, I got these the same time. And I've been ignoring these because I have other things to do. I have to look at Elax. I've got to look at, you know, the clips that I have in there. So I, I sort of gave myself some breathing room. And then I put them back up here. Cause, sorry, I decided to do a sound demo and, you know, play them for a little while. Fuck. Again. Because, you know, even though I've just spent four hours today just putting different speakers up here and tuning these are the only ones you put up here and you're like oh shit that's what great speakers sound like now these are cheaper than the big boot carts and the driver's only a five and a quarter instead of a six and a half like the big boot carts and like the big boot carts where they had the most bass a speaker has ever produced without a sub and it wasn't like bloated and it was perfect these do something very similar, whereas for their size, and they're not huge. Look at that. This is a five and a quarter, a little baby setup here. The bass is astonishing. And with this, at least, it's a little more clear why that happens. And it's not because there's three drivers. This is the only powered driver. These are passive radiators. Instead of putting a port hole where air, like when the driver goes in and out, and the air in that hole goes in and out, and it's, you know, it increases the bass, how it resonates, how much the speaker moves, it controls everything. The alternate to that is to put passive radiators. The Vanatu T1s have, pa have a passive radiator, one, and you have to specially weight it so that it moves the right speed compared to the front, and then, you know, that's how it all works out. So, the fact that these speakers both have two, 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 two passive radiators, and yes, they're upside down, we'll get to that in a second, means that when this makes bass forward, at the precise timing, this throws bass backwards. And then it's just like, wow. It's, it's just like, wow. Playing these speakers, and I guess, again, it's crossover, the way that Tweeter, I mean, there's no, we discussed in my uh, the Canto Ben review, we discussed waveguides and how that's a waveguide and it guides the, the treble. Well, these have no, like, this little lip here is all the waveguide it gets. Then it's just the whole face of the speaker that controls the treble coming out. And yet somehow, even compared to the ELAC Unifies, because these are 500 a pair, but you can get them like on Amazon Prime ship and you get them tomorrow. And these you have to order from, you know, Denmark. So there's a slight shift in, you know, how fast you want them, and they cost more. But they come in white or oak and whatever. The point is, putting those up here, you play them, wow, those are fucking great speakers. You put these up here and you play them, it's like, what's playing? You're confused. It actually confused you. the Helsing OVA soundtrack because people always ask hey what's that song that you played like third time and they'll put sign timestamps so I'm like I'm not rewatching the entire video to figure out what the third song I played was so that's the Helsing OVA target insight and it's just bigger like I don't know these are great these are great those have their issues but these just play here it's not a speaker anymore it's now like the entire front of my room is just fucking emitting sound and I don't know when I I don't know enough about how speakers work perfect like 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 an electrical engineer I don't have that degree I don't have an acoustician I don't have any of those I just listen to speakers and tell you what I think people get upset sometimes that I don't know everything I don't want to know everything that takes the fun out of it because then I would just sit here and go well obviously the phase delay of the blah, 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 blah. I don't care I want I want swirling sounds through my fucking brain. And this is what's providing it. No subwoofers are on. I got to keep checking. Because these rear, they are just, just, it's breathing. The speaker is breathing and performing. That was the thing. That was the word I picked for the other 
boot carts is that it performs. And this is the same tweeter as the big boot carts. And I'm sure that Crossover is of similar quality and filled with components that I don't know what they do at all. And it sits here and it just goes, holy crap. When, when he contacted me, when he, I'm just starting this company, I want to sell these speakers. I will either send you used speakers that you know you could try out and then send them off, or I'll let you take them for half price and you could break them in and then keep them or sell them. And that was, that was a great idea. I'll just get them half price, I'll be the only one in the country with these speakers, and then I'll sell them for a little bit more than I bought them, it'll be a profitable thing, great. Useless, because now I've got to keep these, because I've just got to keep both of them, because I'm a speaker hoarder. It's official. Now I just got to figure out a way to make my hoarding much prettier, because it's just, in piles is not good. I need to have like a wall display of all my beautiful speakers. Everything starts with the exact same tone, that's great. I love how random my entire playlist of 15,000 songs is. All right, let's model the speaker, look at the speaker. Now I got these in white because who doesn't like a beautiful matte, this is not gloss, matte white speaker. Here are the five ways. Same as on the big boot carts, where they just screw straight in. Here's your little plate. Obviously they can't put the plate anywhere else because it's sort of uh, taken up by, these are now dusty. Uh, things. I do have one thing to add to this versus the big S300s. In this room, if I had to, if I had both speakers, which I do, and I had to choose whether I wanted the 300s up here or the 200s up here, I'd take the 300s because they're 12% better than these. And considering those were the best speakers I'd heard, 12% worse than the best speakers I've ever heard is still pretty fucking high. So we'll look at these compared to probably in their wheelhouse is going to be the Studio 530s and the SVS Ultras and the Unac, Unac Edifies. That's perfect. The Elac Unifies. I hate my job now. Now I hate it. Because I look at these and I love these. I fucking love these. They work, they work on a desk, they work out here. They need a little bit more low end if you want them to work on their own. But you know, if you're putting them in a surround sun, you've got a sub 0.1. So they're great, and the imaging is great. I will even say, all right, the imaging is better on the Elax than, than these speakers. Where as far as, you know, delineation across the sound field. But these sound just bigger than those. They just sound bigger, all right? I don't know why. It's not like I listened to those three days, they listen to those an hour and a half ago, and now I'm listening to these. With the same tracks and the same playlist and the same room, the same shitty weather and the humidity is the same and the temperature is hot because all the windows are closed. I love these more. I love these more than those, but those are cheaper and those are more readily available and those, you know, have a warranty and you don't have to ship them overseas. There are reasons for the Elax. And I'm just kicking myself in the ass now, just every, every word, because fucking honesty is amazing. Now, they have covers, which are the same style as the big boot carts, where it's just magnets that stick on, and this is actually for the other ones. Here, here's the ones for the six and a halves. You know why? Because I didn't bother even opening the packages for these, because I don't like covering speakers. Could you add a sub to them? Sure. But it comes down to that, it's another one of those occasions, the same as the daddy boot carts, where it's, if you add a sub, you're sort of taking away. It's like the Vanity T1s. Vanity T1s have fuck amazing low end for what they are. And if you add a sub to them, it's sort of like, well, you've taken away like that big bullet point that's like why they're the best. And you sort of dropped it down and like, all right, now they have to sub for it. So if you get these, don't, don't add a sub and would I recommend them for here, out here in the home theater? Uh, in a room for music? Absolutely. In a room. Home theater use, again, the bigger drivers, the SVS Ultra, 
will do better. Uh, the ELAC Unifies, again, are limited. You get the tower versions of these, which are the same price as the $1,000 a pair we're back up to for the Ultra Towers, home theater. Even the ELAC B6s, home theater. These, music, 2.0, orgasm. And then the party piece, because I said don't use the Bouchard S300s on your desk because they just, they don't work, they don't work. And I put these on my desk here and they work. And guess what? Right against the wall, like literally I bent, like this is how close to the wall I had them. And having these rear, having these not be a port and having these be passive radiators, I'm not sure what the, again, the acoustical problems or benefits are, but oh my God, sitting between these with them, with them right on the sides of my 43 inch monitor, it, it's now a toss up between are these or the Studio 530s. It's like, mm, mm, the low end on these is superior. This just is, is it's the same size driver here as the Studio 530 and the ELAC, but they got those just throwing extra. These again, these are not powered. These are just slave cones that just, this moves and those move because of it. Gotta make sure I make, get that through to you. I love these. I love them. They're worth every penny that you can pay to import them. And they're beautiful. And they're upside down. I'll tell you why they're upside down. Because when I'm sitting here, I'm... My eyes are tweeter height. If I turn them upside down, because my speaker stands are so high, and the reason my speaker stands are so high is because the projection screen, that's where it needs to be, because I don't run a center channel, it needs to be 5 8 up the screen height. And because I have to have the speakers up that high, if I turn them upside down, that brings the tweeter, which is the more locatable sound, lower, just a little bit lower. So when I sit here and I hit next track, right. that's a terrible song, by the way. Yeah, when I sit here, things are now happening exactly there. Where if I turn the speakers right side up, they don't happen exactly there. They happen exactly there. It's a it's a bigger move than just a tweeter distance. It's it's I don't know. Again, acoustics. How do they work? You know, magnets, tides. How do they work? Acoustics. How do they work? I don't care. I just know how to deal with them to my liking. And that's what you got to learn. Just how to deal with slight little changes and twisting and, and angles and oh wow that sounds much better. Fucking two thousand dollar audio cables. I. Give me like a stack of matchbooks and I'll just start tilting speakers. It'll make way more of a difference than a $2,000 audio cable will ever do. Just a slight variation in, in angles and shit. All right, sound demo now for these. Let's see if I can pick up that low end because the, the mics have a hard time at close ranges because the bass all ends up over there, which is good because it's where you sit.